or you can do away with any one of them. All four are required. Right? This is one thing. Now, are you taking care of all of four of them? Or you are you not taking care of any one of them? Right. 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 Okay. So this is one question. The other question is that if you want to answer for all four of them, where will you begin? Right? So we have to begin from here. <coughs> and you can see this itself is missing. <coughs> so we have to begin with right understanding and right feeling in every individual. And this itself is missing. Right? If only we have this right understanding and right feeling in every individual, then only we can find out the need of physical facility and ensure more than what is required, therefore ensure prosperity in family. With these two, we can ensure the third one, that is fearlessness, trust in the society. With these three, finally we can ensure the fourth one. Right? That is how it has to go about. Right? Now, if you want to ensure this, okay, these four human goals, then these are the five dimensions of human system, of human order. Right? The education sanskar, the health sanyam, the production and work, right? This justice and selection, mm -hmm. and finally the exchange and the storage. So if you look at these five dimensions, <coughs> one can see that with right education and sanskar, you will ensure right understanding and right feeling in every human being. So this leads to fulfillment of the first goal. With health and sanyam, we are able to identify the need of physical facility. With production and work, we are able to ensure more than what is required as physical facility. Therefore, these two together ensure the fulfillment of prosperity in every family. Then, justice is what we have discussed, you know, ensuring the fulfillment of relationship with other human beings, leading to Justice leading to trust, leading to fearlessness. So this will lead to fulfillment of the third human goal. Similarly, the suraksha is understanding of the relationship with rest of nature, right? And fulfillment of that relationship leading to mutual prosperity, mutual enrichment, right? If we do this, this leads to the fulfillment of Coexistence, right? I think also. Similarly, this exchange and storage, if it is done with a view of mutual fulfillment, will lead to prosperity as well as trust. If it is done with a view of exploitation, then it will lead to fear and it will lead to deprivation. That we will discuss in more detail. But you can see that this education sanskar will ensure the first goal. Health sanyam and production and work will ensure the second goal of prosperity. Justice will ensure the third goal that is of fearlessness, trust, trust. And then suraksha will result into the fulfillment of the fourth goal that is coexistence in nature. So with these five, you know, five systems, five dimensions of the human system, I can ensure the fulfillment of these four goals. <coughs> so if that is the status, okay, then there will be harmony in society. If this is violated, if any of these four goals is not met, this met with, then there is disharmony in the society. And in order to maintain this harmony in the society, we need to have this you know, human system, five dimensions. Right? So this is just, you know, just I have put this forward, you know, this proposal for you to think over during your lunch time. Okay. We'll come back and expand on this further. I just wanted to leave it for you. Okay.